Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to take a case study around HR and why we are taking this case study because it requires few things. It has multiple dates. So it required use relation to be used and then uh, we require current employees, which is basically required that your table doesn't have a join with the date table and you have to use cross filter to remove it and create your own kind of a join so that you can get how many daily employees you have or how many monthly or yearly employees you have. So that's what we wanted to do now. So what we are going to do is we go to get some data and I have some uh, data for HR analytics available with me. So I'm going to take that data. So I go and say Excel and uh, in Canarica we folder I have this Power BI folder where I have this employee record uh, table uh, which I'm going to take it in. Uh, this is the Excel file which I have and let me bring it in. So this is what is there and then we actually load it and so what data is this this basically uh, on the these employees getting hired on the very first date of the organization has started they are still continuing they kind of found us and then their employees keep on joining keep on leaving keep on joining keep on leaving there are few employees which are continuing for a long time and we need to see all these what is the final headcount we have starting from 2015 to 2019 we have some data so let's load this data now now once we loaded this data uh, second now we want to rename it and then we are going to create one date table around it and then I'll tell you what we are supposed to do. So we call it employee. Okay. So we got this table created. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this uh, data tab and I'm going to create a new table and which is going to be my date table. And quickly I'm going to create uh, using it calendar and I say date I have dates from 2015-01-01 and I have data till 2019 so I am going to create there are other methods where which we can get all those dates but let's right now do it manually and then we got the calendar and we are going to create couple of columns as usual uh, month and month year and year so I say month year and so we call it uh, format function and then we use date and then we are going to use mmm hyphen y y y y okay and then we're going to create a sort column for this let's copy this and do it quickly uh, so we are going to call month here order and then we don't need these three and we say mm now again one more thing which we need is here and that's uh, we are going to look at the employees in a particular year so we have this year and this we call year and we can take it from date so year is getting created for us and we quickly going to mark this as a date table mark it as a date table we go ahead and do date now the thing which started differently for this one is now which is now we have a date and we have two dates out here so we are going to join it with start date because that's what going to be our default join it should be one to many correct fine and then we are going to join the end date okay now this is start join uh, date is active join and end date is inactive join you can click and see this is inactive and you will not be able to make it active only one active join at a time now uh, to get the what is my hire count it's very simple this is just count of employees so we can go ahead and create a major we say okay uh, my higher count is or uh, higher count is nothing but Count of employees, no logic required there, and we go and count the employee ID. If you have unique employee ID, otherwise you may choose count distinct and okay, fine. So how how, how is my hiring trend? So I go at a month year, I'll take it a table and I see all the month year, but as soon as I put uh, this higher count and it's started going to show me this is my higher count and it's showing blank, it means we missed out some date in the calendar. So go back and look at the calendar, what date we missed out. Let's see. Uh, so go back to the employee table we have dates 2015 to the 19 I think we taken the year start in case of this one so we need to make it 12 and 31 okay so if this is one of the mistake which you do so uh, we have covered this into this video now you see that when everything is there and this is where you also should be knowing that this kind of a right join which is happening in power bi so even if you missed out something there it's still showing the data in the fact and you are able to see that there are lesser dates so if you see null just go and doubt the table on the left hand side it might be missing something in one to many okay so perfectly we have hired these many employees 19 employees and they are hired at a different time this is higher but how do we get the termination count okay 
we will use use relationship and that's where we'll say okay this is termination count and here we'll use calculate and we, again we're going to count only um, we are going to count employees id again but we can't count it against the higher date that's the default join so we have to remove it and use another join so we say use relationship with the date dot date and use this with the end date okay so we take in this end date and that's the two parameter it needs we close it and then we put it again and then you will see one once more again uh, how see again there is a case of right join out here uh, there are eight employees which are still there with the companies coming here and we don't need this because they are not fired so here we are going to say not is blank and date close it twice and we got it okay so now we got the end date and this is so we got 19 employees eight of them are still continuing and 11 has left off but what we need is every month how many employees does it have i hired i terminated or the left the organization what is the number of employees now this is a bit tricky and i'll let you understand that uh, what we need is so basically on any given date how many employees i have so any employee which got hired before that date and terminated after that date so that's the logic we need i have this logic let me explain it to you first of all out here so current employees uh, we are going to first of all remove using the cross filter the existing join and uh, once we remove this existing join we will uh, get the uh, left out um, we will have this uh, left out which is not joined with anything and uh, we are going to now create our new set of joins and we are going to take the row advantage we are going to put it against time so that we take the advantage of the uh, row values uh, so what we are going to say see this start date should be less than equal to max date of date if it is date it is date if it is month it is a month and date if it is year it is year and date and similarly we are going to say that you know and end date uh, should be greater than the max date in the row context and it should not be null because um, the nulls are the current employees they should always be counted so this condition has to pass every time while counting the current employees so what we are going to do we are going to rebuild this one and we are going to say a new major and we are going to say this let's say this is the current employee now for the current employee what we are going to do calculate and we would remove the join so we take that later we say count we are going to say count x and here we are going to take employee that's what we the table we have and we start uh, the we will have to filter first of all so we will say filter and in the filter we take employee and in the employee we say okay so now our joins will start so we have the first join which is start date and start date is equal to less than start date should be less than and equal to the max of date of date and then we have two conditions so we want the blank to be true so is blank of end date is fine with us this is the first condition that can be true or the end date should be greater than strictly greater we take greater than the max of date of date and then we got this we close this parenthesis this is covered the second condition now we close this called the filter condition the column we need is as usual employee id this count is done but we need to remove the join because it's still listed join with start date so all whatever we are doing is not going to work out so we say okay cross filter that's going to remove the join date and um, start date that's the join and how to remove that join we are going to say none so now it's going to remove the join there is no join now and we got it now we'll validate this major so current employee we go ahead and drag it here to make the table bigger let's make this create some more space to have the majors and now let's understand what is happening out here so we have two employees in the first month we had one more three we had one more four we had two more six and they continue six or another higher two eight then continue with eight and then we had one more nine and this month we hired one we had terminated one of one employees left nine nine this month one more employee has left so eight 
and one more come one more come and then finally we have at the end eight employees and let's say this does this work with year or not so we go and put year out here and then we say uh, we make it as a table and then we say okay uh, we have this hire count we have this termination count and we have this current employee count okay and you will see the numbers are matching okay so we this is how we are hiring this is these are our employees which are current so you've seen in this video you can have more than one dates you can join with both of them dates one can be active another one can be inactive there could be more than two dates so all of them would be inactive and then you, you use the relationship to use uh, activate those so always join with the date which is most commonly used so in this case start date is the most commonly used date so we are joined with that and then even if you want to remove the join and date and create your own custom calculation which is required we have cross filter with the non option where we are going to have this join remove uh, so go ahead experiment with this uh, thanks for watching this video thank you